In this lecture, we are going to do the analysis of basic reproductive number. Now, if you do remember, when we talked about a branching model, so branching model where there is a node here and then this node is having k neighbors. So, this node here, it is having k neighbors, right? And then each of these k neighbors, each of these k neighbors are again having some k neighbors. So, something like this. Each of these k neighbors are again having k neighbors. So, little bit of overlapping. This and so on. Right. So, this was our basic uh, branching model. And then we have looked at the number of expected people who get infected here was given as P into K. Where P is the probability that this disease get transmitted across this edge. So, here we were having a number P into K and we call this number as basic reproductive number R0 and then we made a claim and the claim was, the claim was we said that if R0 is less than 1 then the probability that this disease die, the probability that this Disease dies equals to 1. That is if R0 less than 1 for sure this disease dies away. And if R0 is greater than 1 then with a positive probability the disease persists in the network. So the probability that this disease persists in the network is greater than 0. We said this and we looked at how intuitively this is true but we haven't looked at a regress proof. So in this lecture we will be doing a regress proof for this and the proof is actually very interesting. Let's see how we can do it. So let's model it a little bit. So what do we do is, okay, we have this network over here. Okay. We have this network here, right. First of all, let's say, so let's see at when do I call this disease to become epidemic? So let's say this is level 1, this is level 2 and somewhere down here, here is some level which is the nth level. So this is my nth level. Right? And then I take a variable, I take a notation, let's say Qn. And what is Qn? Qn is the probability that our disease reaches level n. Reaches level n means at least one person at this level n should be infected. So if these are the people at level n say so at least one person in this level should be infected and if one person at this level is infected I say that my disease reaches level n. So, Qn becomes a probability that my disease reaches level n. Okay, let me write it down. So, Qn means the probability that disease reaches level n or I can also say that it is the probability that my disease persists till level n. So far so good. Now let me look at what does this value represent. I take here q star and I define q star as qn as n tends to infinity. What does it mean? It means that I keep going down, 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 down and I go to the infinite level and I see there what is the probability that this disease is still persisting at that infinite level. That is my Q star. And you see, what if, what does it mean if Q star is 1? It means that if even if I go to the infinite level, my disease is existing. It means that my disease is epidemic. If my Q star is 1, I say that my disease is epidemic. And if my Q star is 0, I say that my disease has died away. 
okay so now what do we have to prove we had to prove that if our basic reproductive number r0 so what do we have to prove we have to prove that if our basic reproductive number r0 if it is less than 1 then we say that the disease for sure dies away which means that then q star should be 0 right what is q star it is 0 when the disease dies away q star is 0 when the disease dies away so when r0 is less than 1 the probability that your disease exists till your infinite level should be equal to 0 that is your q star should be equal to 0 and second thing when your r0 is greater than 1 then q star should be greater than 0 right so q star if it is greater than 0 it means that if the probability that your disease persists when you go to the infinite level in your network that probability is something positive so this is how we write our problem statement rigorously it is essentially the same thing which we stated before that if r0 is less than 1 then our disease dies away for sure that is q star equals to 0 if r0 is greater than 1 then with a positive probability our disease it persists in the network so we are going to do a proof which is a little bit lengthy so at times you may want to look back and forth and see what is happening although i'll try my best to keep it as clear as i can okay this is what we have to prove and we'll continue in the next lecture so just uh, look back and see how we have modeled this problem what is q star what is qn and so on and we'll continue in the next lecture